Now, very fitting that... Well, look at this. I remember taking you across when you left with that fella Duncan. And now you're a Grey Warden. My pup used to tell me stories about them. Templars took the boat. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. Don't look at me. I told you, I'm not the ferryman no more. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over. But I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. Maybe you could at that. I'm sure your mind's all afire now, eh? I reckon it's good for them mages. Gather them all, learn them some proper magics. I know what they say about mages, but the Maker made them for a purpose. If you can't trust him, who can you trust? Oh, I can't say that. I'm lucky he's good enough to give me the time of day. The first enchanter's all right. He's polite as can be, but he's always a little distant if you get my drift. But Gregor will stay to talk. I reckon he likes hearing from us common folk, you know? He's a man to be respected, that Gregor. All right. Keep safe, you hear? Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha! So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Kill some darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Ugh, semantics. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. He won't know if you never get in, will he? Oh, I've outsmarted you. If I were more flexible, I'd pat myself on the back. Uh, is that bad? Look, I'm uh, just trying to do my job. 
I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now we wait and pray. I don't have time to entertain visitors. Well, look who's back. A proper Grey Warden now, are we? Glad you're not dead. Perhaps. Now we're dealing with a situation that doesn't involve you, Grey Warden. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. We were too complacent. First Jowan, now this. Don't think I've forgotten your role in Jowan's escape. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. And what was I to do? Leave the door open as the abominations poured out? The mages are lost. It is something we must accept. Denerim must have received our message. It cannot be much longer. If, by some miracle, you destroy the abominations, yes. The Templars will join your army. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you...